Welcome back to Introducing Grunt, the JavaScript Task Runner. Last section, we talked about some of the different ways we can run Grunt. This is the third section, Compiling Code. In this section, we'll explore yet another way with Grunt Connect and compile some SAS using the Compass add-on library. Then we'll talk about targets. This is the first video in that section using Grunt Connect. In this video, we'll talk about how we can use Grunt to launch a small web server to test our changes. This comes in handy if you're on a machine that doesn't have Apache setup. First thing we'll do is install it. We'll type npm install grunt contrib dash connect dash dash save dash dev. Then once this is done, we'll head over to our editor. And now we're looking at the options for the connect server plugin. Port 9001 sets the port, just in case you have a default at 80 already or want to set it a different one. Protocol can be set to HTTPS if you want to test it with SSL. However, you'll need a certificate and all that. The host name, localhost, can be set to whatever you want. Base is the base of your application. One dot is the default and signifies the same directory as Grunt. If you wanted to serve the files from a subdirectory, you would enter that here. The default is null to let it default to the root of the Grunt project. The open setting automatically opens a browser window when it opens and keep alive is needed to actually be able to browse it. Otherwise, it just closes as soon as it's connected. Now, by using Grunt Connect in our terminal, we can launch our site. Make sure you have an index.html page to display, though. In this video, we learned how to use Grunt Connect to launch a server so we could view our work. The next video will go over how to use Compass to compile SAS into CSS.